All right, looking over, and just we're talking in our questions about some of the Panthers receivers, but we got the Panthers and the Saints here. Good divisional matchup. Saints coming back off of their bye week. Finally are going to see Michael Thomas again. Literally have not seen him perform well for fantasy. Comes out, has a pretty poor performance in week one. Deals with that high ankle sprain as the game was pretty much over. It was a really unfortunate circumstance. And then last week he was ready to play, but then he punched someone in practice and, and Sean Payton suspended him for copping an attitude when he confronted him on it. Yada, yada, yada. You don't know the full story there, but clearly it was something that Sean Payton felt was uh, deferential enough to the team that he needed to suspend his best player. And they almost lost the game uh, against the Chargers. And I think it would have been a lot better if they would have had Michael Thomas. So we'll see Uh, him coming back from a high ankle sprain. I don't think we can expect him to be exactly what we were hoping for from the start of the season. Give him a few more weeks to ease back in. But that being said, if you've been holding on to Michael Thomas or you traded for him, like you're dying for him to come back. So of course you'd be starting him this week. Uh, so let's talk about this game. 51 point over under saints are heavily favored, heavily favored to win this seven and a half points. Panthers defense has been honestly pretty good at slowing down quarterbacks, receivers, tight ends. We saw, uh, they finally slowed down Allen Robinson. He had a, a mediocre performance this last week. Quarterbacks have performed poorly against the Panthers. The only place to really beat them and boy, do you beat them is in the run game. Unless you David Montgomery and just suck at football. Um, the Panthers have been allowing a ton of fantasy points to running backs. So this is going to be a massive week for Alvin Kamara and honestly, probably even flex Latavius Murray in there as well. Saints defense has been a disappointment this year, giving up a lot of points to quarterbacks and tight ends. They've been absolutely exposed by tight ends. We saw Robert Tanyan have that explosive game against them. Uh, we saw Darren Waller just destroy them on Monday night there in week two. So overall, uh, the Saints defense has not been as good as advertised. Their run game has been pretty good. Justin Jackson had a decent performance against them the last time we saw. But other than that, their run defense has been strong. And Marcus Lattimore has been, uh, he's still been good, but, you know, missed that game. uh, uh, Sorry, my mind mind is slipping now, but uh, he missed the game previously, uh, you know, due to injury. We'll see if he's coming back fully healthy here. Uh, It was the game versus the Lions, sorry. And then, uh, you know, overall, the secondary has been a little bit a little bit banged up. So we'll see if that continues here. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is I'm not as afraid of the Saints defense as we were heading into the season, leading me to be pretty confident in starting a lot of these Panthers. So Mike Davis, assuming he's healthy, we haven't really heard. So he left the game uh, due to an ankle issue, came back into the game and then left again. Had a decent performance, you know, had a touchdown to save his day. Didn't look like he was banged up too badly, but something to monitor. We'll see. Haven't really seen any of the practice reports yet. Nothing major. So it doesn't look like it's going to hold him out. If Mike Davis were to miss time, there really isn't a running back to pivot to here. Uh, But I think Mike Davis will be fine and he should be a good start this week uh, because of his work in the passing game, even though the Saints have had a good run defense, gets enough uh, targets to make up for that, especially in PPR. At this point, you're pretty much starting Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore regardless of matchup, especially if Curtis Samuel is out. I have him down there on my bench. He was out last week. Not sure of his status at this point. Probably will uh, find his way back into the lineup this week. But, you know, with him going out, we saw DJ Moore be a lot more involved in the target share. Now, DJ Moore has been disappointing as well in terms of just drops this year. I think he's tied for the league lead in drops. And that's been pretty disappointing because that has never really been part of his career. But look for that too hopefully continue to turn around because had he been able to convert some of those, he would actually be outscoring Robbie Anderson right now. So as we kind of talked about earlier, I think DJ Moore is going to slowly take back over that wide receiver one role. But at this point, they're both, you know, high end wide receiver twos, guys you can start every week. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, not someone I'm excited about starting this week. The Saints have been pretty good at slowing down quarterbacks, even though receivers have found a way to, you know, at least get enough done on them. And then Ian Thomas, He's been really bad. The Saints have been terrible against tight ends, so something's going to give here. Either Ian Thomas is going to have a good game or the Saints defense is finally going to have a good performance against tight ends. If you're in a really tough spot, I could see myself starting Ian Thomas, but hopefully you're not in that bad of a spot. Uh, On the Saints side, Alvin Kamara could very easily be the number one player in fantasy football this week going against the putrid Panthers defense. 
Michael Thomas, as we mentioned in the lead up here, coming back from that injury at this point, you don't have the luxury to bench him. Hopefully he comes back and is 80, 90% of his full strength and sees a pretty good performance here. And then Jared Cook, you know, could have a decent game here as well. You know, finally able to hopefully recover from the injury that had been lingering for a while. Now, where we get to the other options here, Drew Brees is not someone I'm actually excited about starting. He's He's been... Uh, you know, underwhelming thus far. Taysom Hill stealing some goal line work there, you know, getting that run in against the Chargers, limiting his upside. Kamara getting it done on the ground. Latavius Murray getting it done on the ground. Honestly, I have Latavius Murray here in my second guess, but the run defense here for the Panthers is so bad. If you're in a bad spot, I could see you starting both Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray and hoping for a touchdown for Murray because this run defense is just kind of a joke. Uh, Now, Emmanuel Sanders was heavily targeted in that game against the Chargers. But I do think with Michael Thomas coming back, you're not going to be seeing that much more. If you're in a pinch, I could still see myself starting him, but I'm trying to avoid it uh, and not going back to Traquan Smith now that he's the playing the third fiddle there, arguably the fifth fiddle after Cook and Kamara, if you're counting those guys as well. So pretty easy here for who we're starting. Everyone else you could talk me into, uh, but not someone I'm very excited about. So overall, I, I do agree that the Saints win this one. I think it'll be a little bit closer. Then Vegas is saying right now at seven and a half, I have the, the Panthers covering that barely. Saints winning this one 28 to 21 at home. Mm-hmm.